the country's commercial capital, Colombo, where shops, supermarkets and large corporate buildings jostle for precious space. It's the most populated district, with over a million residents and 700,000 more converging into its bowels every day. The versatile and multi-ethnic, multi-religious city, notwithstanding different cultural traditions and socio-economic conditions, where people coexist in peace. All this makes Colombo a unique city. Colombo, for all its wealth and political power, is not immune to disaster. The district, located as it is in the wet zone of the country, regularly suffers from flash floods, exacerbated by unplanned urban development and housing sprawl. While floods are more regular, the district also suffers from other types of disasters, such as coastal erosion, high winds, fire, and it is also exposed to the threat of tsunami. The major natural hazard that affects the Colombo district is floods, and the main cause for flooding is the Kalanay River. The Colombo district's Disaster Management Coordinating Unit, or DDMCU, was established in the district secretariat office one year after the tsunami as part of the Disaster Management Center's efforts to bring together different actors to a single commitment and goal. One of the first major disasters faced by this district coordinating unit was the flood that occurred in October 2006, when large parts of the district were inundated due to heavy rainfall. The floods affected over 65,000 people and caused damage to over 8,000 houses. These were mainly those living in low-income housing settlements, often encroached on state lands. An analysis of the causes of the flood revealed a serious lack of drainage capacity in the city and suburbs. Drainage canals, wetlands and waterways were either silted, filled with garbage or reclaimed for housing. This is the unhappy outcome of rapid urban growth in the district. The priority, obviously, was to re-establish the drainage network, and this meant cleaning the canals, dredging the garbage out of them, and in some places, actually carving out the drainage routes, which had been reclaimed for other purposes. Over the past few years, we did an inspection of the Kolonava district. It is a sad plight, with the rainwater stagnating for several weeks. After we toured over 40 Grama Sevaka divisions, we discovered that all the streams have been filled up and in some instances the reclaimed land has been partitioned and sold. Also streams have been clogged up with garbage. People have also changed the route of streams. Clearing canals that had been neglected for decades was not an easy task for the Disaster Management Center. To achieve their objective, they had to draw in a number of key government and civil society actors. The results have been immediate for some. The clean canals have led to a marked reduction in flooding incidents, and for many residents, this alone marks the success of the flood mitigation project. All the water that flows down from the hills comes in this direction and causes flooding. And almost all these houses get inundated by the floods. We have built protective walls as a temporary measure. They keep telling us that a drainage system will be built, but nothing has been done up to now. We have only been helped by the disaster management unit. Another innovative partnership developed by the DDMCU is now being implemented as a pilot project in Ratmalana. A recycling centre was established with funds from the Samurdi Authority to address the problem of solid waste while unemployed local people were provided jobs in the centre. The land for this centre was given by the Railway Department, while the Dehwala Mount Lavinia Municipal Council showed their support for the programme by providing one staff member to manage the centre. The centre has developed links with recycling collectors who buy the waste plastic, polythene, pet bottles, 
metal and paper from the center. But one of the greatest achievements of this project was to introduce good waste management practices and supply compost bins to 1,000 suburban households. We launched this project with an estimated budget of 3 million rupees drawn from the 2006 Community Infrastructure Facilities Program. In fact, this will also provide us with a solution to our major problem, which is garbage disposal. These successful examples of partnership building demonstrated the capability of the Colombo District Disaster Management Coordinating Unit to bring together different stakeholders to actively engage in reducing people's exposure to different disaster scenarios. Through tireless coordination at different operational levels, at the district secretariat, at the divisions and different localities, the District Disaster Management Coordinating Unit managed to encourage different government departments and local authorities to take their responsibilities seriously. By helping the department, authorities, municipalities and Pradeshia Sabhas to implement their own mandate, the DDMCU became quickly accepted among the different parties and the demand for their services grew. The District Disaster Management Coordinating Unit began to have NGO coordination meetings in Colombo to bring together different non-governmental actors to generate more cooperation. The private sector came forward at various stages to contribute to programs such as the Mount Lavinia Beach Park and Sirens for Early Warning. Many other types of activities were implemented under this disaster management umbrella in Colombo. Schools safety programs with the Department of Education, first aid programs with the St. John's Ambulance Service, beach cleanup and coastal greening programs with the Tourism Authority, Urban Development Authority, Sarvodaya and Hoteliers along the coastline in Mount Lavinia. An unusual and interesting exercise in partnership with the support of the Colombo District Secretary, the Survey Department, the Irrigation Department and Disaster Management Center was taking place near the sea outfall of the Kalania River recently. For the first time, rivers are being surveyed using old aerial photos and the Survey Department maps to establish clearly the correct river boundaries. This exercise has exposed the extent to which rivers are being encroached on. The idea is to improve land use planning and help local authorities make the right decisions about constructions in their area of jurisdiction. In order to ensure that the general public and all others concerned are always fully prepared and equipped to prevent or face up to any disaster, a well-coordinated action plan has been devised and put in place by the Colombo District Disaster Management Coordinating Unit. This will benefit the whole country. <laughs>